Well, hello everybody. Today I want to talk to you about the skulk sensor and specifically how to make a skulk frequency detector. So as you may know, the skulk block was added to the latest snapshot and the skulk sensor block detects vibration within an eight block spherical radius. So when I walk, you can see that it is picking up my vibrations. The skulk sensor can put out a redstone signal in two different ways. So if we take a redstone signal directly out of the skulk sensor, the strength of that redstone signal is related to how close I am to the block. So let's say I put a block down over here, you'll see we got a strength of about five. I put a block right next to it, you can see we got a strength of 15. So different proximities will have different strengths. Now if instead I take a comparator output, what the skulk sensor is sending out is its measurement of the frequency. So you'll notice if I walk, we get an output of two. No matter my proximity, walking always creates a frequency of two. If I was to eat, you can see we get a higher output. If I push a button, we'll get a higher output. Place a block. If I was to break a block, no matter my proximity, these different actions have specific frequencies. And this is what makes the skulk sensor so cool is that it can send out specific redstone signals depending on the events happening nearby. One of the many things that will send out a vibration frequency is a projectile. So if I shoot off an arrow, it sends off a signal of seven. Now you'll notice if I walk, that's not enough of a signal to turn on this lamp. Placing a block sends out quite a lot more. So that is plenty to turn that light on. But let's say I only want this light to turn on if I'm shooting off a projectile. You can do something like this, and there's many, many ways to set this up, but they all basically follow this same pattern. So let me show you, if I was to um, jump, doesn't really do much. If I walk, nothing's going on. If I place a block, light doesn't come on, but if I was to shoot a projectile, light comes on because that is the proper frequency to activate this circuit. And there's basically two things going on. One is we are taking a signal out of the skulk sensor and then we're sending a signal into the side. This is in subtract mode. So since we know we're looking for a signal of seven, I have this coming in on the side at a six. So basically we only get a signal here if it's a, a seven. If it's lower than that, it's not enough to come through. If it's greater, it's gonna come through here, come around, repeater will push it across. And if a repeater pushes into the side of another repeater, it locks it. So you'll notice if I place a block, the signal is going to overspill and it's going to lock this, just like that. Again, breaking a block. Too much of a signal so it spills over and then locks that. So this part here is basically our lower limit. We're making sure that only a signal that is over six will get through and then this part here is basically just saying and if it's more than seven we're going to lock this so the signal can't get through. What I'm using here is just an item frame with an arrow in it turned around but you could use a chest full of items, you could use a cauldron, you could use pretty much anything that sends out a redstone signal. Here's another example where I have the skulk sensor, the uh, comparator in subtract mode coming out. Here I have a lectern with a book on it and the book is sending out a signal of 11. The signal will come through here if it spills over and then lock the repeater. So if I place a block, block placement has a frequency of 12. That comes right through. Now breaking a block, I believe, is one more. Yeah, and you can see that locked it. So placing a block will activate our redstone, but breaking it won't. Falling won't. Walking won't. So again, we've created something that's looking for a frequency specific to a block placement. And that's really all there is to it. Figure out what you want your action to be.
figure out what you want your trigger to be and then set up a signal going into the side that's one less than your trigger and make it fit into your build in whichever way you can. The skulk sensors are really going to change the way that we do things. The idea that we could send a signal over distances without blocks being there or through blocks uh, that are solid, it's going to be incredible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this fun and interesting. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.